What's up everyone? This is the Godfather Dictator and I'm back with chapter 10 on my Master Ninja equipment run. No damage. The first uh, military chapter that uh, we'll face. And uh, then what we do here is I'm gonna go back inside. There's, weird enough, there's only one small bomb in this one. In NGV it's actually an entire refill, but I don't know. I think uh, somebody forgot something in the program there at some point. Uh, on Ayashi's team <laughs> because why the hell would a chest only have one small bomb I don't really get it so we're gonna go do those extra um, cat fight we're gonna use the the leashing in the stairs to uh, UT them uh, make it really easy and also we're gonna get um, extra money and right now because we uh, we don't have also the UF after doing you know certain of those um, those fight we're we're going to be um leveling up the uf and we're going to use it on the first fight the that first fight after well the first actual fight if you want because these are extra fight there's also one in the back that i think I'll, I'll go do it but the first actual fight in that chapter is quite hard it's really annoying with some of the rocket dude and the drone and the thing is is in ngb they all spawn on the same side but there they actually spawn at different places in the, in the area so it's a it's a little trickier i would say to deal with you know uh, because of that you can uh, you cannot plan as much if you want even if you can adapt it's tricky so second cat fight going to throw a smoke bomb and use the dabil arrow mind you though cats um well especially the black cats and such they don't they don't basically react as long to certain enemy to the smoke bomb um, so there's not as much time to do the actual charge you know so that's that's a good thing to know because when you're going to throw the smoke bomb there's sometimes times where you will be able to get a full charge but usually they are pretty damn fast and they will not let you for a full ut unless you have celerity that is different but celerity uh, we're only getting it in the Equiduct chapter after killing the Dabil Arrow clone, uh, so yeah. Here we could upgrade the Dabil Arrow, but we're gonna upgrade the UF, and then after we're gonna focus on that Dabil Arrow, especially that after that chapter you can pretty much, um, you know, use one of the fight to, to farm for essence if you really need it, which I might do a little bit in that run, I don't recall, but we'll see. So I kill some of these bad in that area and I'm gonna go clear that extra fight here uh, before I go save. So I'm dropping a small bomb, then I get two here. Uh, be careful of those guys, they can guard break you with their uh, with their shooting actually. So yeah, be careful with that. After this, once we clear that, we're gonna go back the same way we came from and uh, we're gonna be um, we're gonna be saving and then we'll head for the first fight. And what I'll do is I'll do the first fight and then the other fight right after. And that's simply because after when I save back, uh, I'm able to, well, I'm able to skip, you know, one of the fight that spawned non-stop versus if I save on the other point further in, the, the fight always respawns similar to the, to the red ninjas, you know, um, on, from that specific area in chapter six of that game. So what I do here is I do a wall attack instantly as soon as this one spawns. Then I will throw an incendiary shuriken, one of the drones. Then I will do a UT that apparently hit absolutely nothing. So that's that's cool. Uh, and then after we're gonna try to get rid of the drone uh, at the same time. They also drop essence, so make sure you use that essence to uh, well to UT the other the other soldier. So. Here, we're going to dispatch another one. I think there's 11 total, and I'm not sure. I think the drone for now are out, and it's going to be a rocket on uh, on both on both sides, I think. So this side, and then after a rocket on that side. I knew it was going to shoot. That's why I didn't UT instantly. And then there's one more on the other side. Then we're going to use a small bomb with a forward wide, 12 enemy total. And now, before going to save, we're gonna go and do that fight here right now. Not hit anything once again. Amazing. 
Don't know why I'm missing all those uh, <laughs> those ETs. My the range is not great. I'm not putting myself close enough to the enemy. But you want to play it safe here, because you don't want to redo the first fight. It's a pain. It's a pain in the ass. So once I clear that fight, I'm gonna go to the shop here, and I think I'm gonna refill small bump first because we'll focus on upgrading the debil arrow a bit later. So I'll just I'll just buy a couple. And then we're gonna go back to save. Now the idea behind uh, behind saving here is that once I go back, that's what I've explained. You'll see what I mean. Is that the fight on top that I just did now will respawn, but this way I can just get through that fight without having to worry about those guys spawning right behind me if I save at the other saves. You know. So you'll see what I mean. I get here on the top of the stairs, boom, the fight respawns. So I can skip those guys because I already did it, so I don't have to worry about getting it. And then the save point that is to the left here, I did not save here because of what I said. Those guys will always respawn in that area. And this way I don't have to deal with that, you know. I can just entirely skip the fight and I just think uh, it's, it's a lot better. So once, once you get past that part, we're going to trigger the bridge. And then the fight, even though it's a little bit different, the location compared to NGP, the concept though, the idea behind that fight is the same. So you want to dispatch both of the active soldier that are there. So it's always wave of one rocket and one gunner, you know? And once you get rid of them, kind of like close to the same time, you can pretty much just wait as they come out of the, the truck like this and you can just keep killing them and uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean so here I kill this one and then I will wait a fraction of a second and then boom kill both of them at the same time because it takes a certain amount of time as you notice for the rocket to load this rocket in and then after that there's eight enemy total I'm gonna leave the essence here and then I'm gonna use it to you team those guys down there and even though they will they will respawn by the way so throw a smoke bomb finish him with a forward forward wide even though they will respawn i don't care because i'm not staying in that area i'm gonna go straight up to the next area and then i'm gonna i'm gonna dispatch the enemy in that uh, in that other zone and save because you have an extra save right outside of that door so once you come out here there'll be one gunner and one rocket dude i throw a small bomb do a forward and then what i do is you can lure that guy to come down the stairs if you stay there but here it seems like he didn't want to come out, so I try to reach him on top, then still doesn't want to come out. I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna wait him down here. He's being a little bit of a troll. And then I'm gonna charge, and you'll see at some point he'll get out of his bug animation, and he'll finally be running towards me, like right there. I'm not sure what the heck he was going doing that entire time. But we finally get rid of them. So after this, I'm not going to go straight for the last section of that chapter. We're going to be doing couple... I'm going to be clearing couple of extra fight in that area here. You know, that are not, are not necessary. Okay, but I'm going to do it just for completion's sake. So here, I'm using the camera trick where if you don't show the enemy uh, in your camera right away, they will not activate and then i will stay in that corner here because this forces that other soldier to come towards me which gives me enough time to charge for well i was gonna charge for a ut and i couldn't but i i could have i think done it because he shot a little bit there after this and um, here we got another extra fight that we're gonna try to clear asap get a triple kill here real quick then i'm gonna go win that over that guy's head and then go for the ut and then we're gonna finish the last one with an ET and a Gleaming Blade. And then we're gonna go back and we're we're gonna be doing the same the same trick in that area here with the camera after to kill at least one of them. And then we're gonna go uh, towards the Berserker fight. Berserker in this game, uh, funny enough, they're. They are dangerous off screen, but then less dangerous when you're fighting them. And then in NGB, it's a little bit the opposite, is that they're not really dangerous off screen unless you, you know, you by accident introduce them to this, into the camera if you want while you're fighting another one. But in this one, while you can counter their first hit, uh, the other one are always active with that attack 
uh, outside and that's why I were using the Lunar because it has the longest high frame during the counter attack and it's perfect for that puddle as you can see here and that puddle by the way is is terrible because it does a shit ton of damage and uh, it can catch you when you don't expect it so that's why you're not gonna go for a heavy weapon for instance you know the devil arrow with the, the quick forward Y counter it's good it does a lot of damage problem is the recovery is is way too short if you want or or it's the opposite the recovery sorry is way too long and then you have time to get it you know bunch of time by this so it's it's just it's just not good here i'm just killing one of the enemy and then i will charge for an ultimate technique right here and then i if i recall i'm gonna ignore the rocket guy because we already did that fight and we don't, uh, once again, once the fight has been clear from the timer, I don't want to have to redo those fights. So I, I just didn't bother with it. I didn't have to kill everything. And so here, everything I did there was pretty much to upgrade the Debil Arrow to level 2 and refill my smoke bomb. Even though I do a lot of damage with equipment and you don't necessarily need 15 smoke bomb, I just think it's an added to take for uh, the part with Alternator, you know, because Alternator... Uh, can be really annoying and one of the things that is really 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 annoying uh, during the fight is uh, the random you know the random carpet bombing I, i'm not sure who had the, the the amazing idea there to be hey you know what we're gonna we're gonna add some random carpet bombing but that was actually a terrible idea uh so when when i reach that area if you're wondering you know why right now you're not going back to save it's the same thing is that last time i i did this i realized i think i let I, I left one of the fight on top and i had to redo it every single time so in this run i told myself you know i'm just gonna clear it so this way i can i can just skip it or kill one real quick for the essence because you always want to kill one here for the essence on the next fight you know before alternator uh, but I don't want to have to clear the entire fight. So killing one is nice, but then you can leave right away after this if you want. And um, that's pretty much what I will do when I come back. So, because here, you don't have to come to this section either in this game. Because you get the bow after you clear uh, the next area, the military gate. And on top, um, when you shoot the switch here, you actually get a talisman of rebirth. So uh, if any of you, you know, wants an extra uh, talisman of rebirth, after you clear the fight, come back here. And then when you shoot the switch, a chest will appear and that will give you a talisman of rebirth. So now that I got the two extra Skyrim, because I'm not going to come back here after, you know, I'm going to refill once again my smoke bomb because I used a couple and I want it to be maxed out. But then you still have to be careful here in that area because you will see there, there are some enemies that respawn and pretty much you, you don't want to risk dying there. But as soon as you get rid usually of the rocket, the other, uh, the gunner will go active and he will try to chase you. So I jumped down to make sure he would go down all the way up the stairs and then uh, and then that's it. So here I don't even know, I, it feels like I did a, tra a transition but that was actually not on purpose. I'll leave it there though because it works <laughs> It works fine but uh, yeah that transition of uh, going darker that was not on purpose. I think it's when I did the video I, I, said, the, I said the wrong thing but it doesn't matter it gives an actually cool effect. So this is what I said here. I'm gonna I, I clear the first rocket so that I can UT that guy. And then when you enter, you're gonna roll jump, roll jump, then roll smoke bomb cancel the roll animation. And then we're gonna win that over this guy's head. And it's the same strap by the way that I use in the regular run. Then we hide in that corner, ET that last guy. Now that's the thing here with the lunar. I think it's the most reliable uh, weapon to do that. You know, without getting hit, but. Depend on the recovery, sometimes you get hit before you even land on the ground. It's it's hard to explain, like you're you're a tiny bit close to about to land on the ground and then you will get hit. It's, it's actually super easy to get hit even by doing this method. But I've noticed that it's the most reliable uh, weapon pretty much to do it. So uh, and, and because of the equipment, you go much faster. So once I clear those gunner, I'm going to clear the... Rocket on top, only need two arrows uh, with the equipment. And then that's where we get the strong bow right here. So I equip the small bomb right now, but I need to re-equip the small bomb actually. Because 
they always equip the bow automatically. So I would say once you get it, wait and then equip it after. You know, it will be the same same exact strat, and that was weird there. Same exact strat, guys, but uh, it's gonna be much faster because of the equipment, obviously. You know, so that that is a nice thing because I don't think that fight is particularly a good. And that I think is the only attack that doesn't guard crush you there. That one um, that I blocked because I blocked it and I didn't take damage. The other one, you actually all, all like always take damage. But that's about it for that chapter. A lot harder than what it looked, especially that last section here with alternator. Super annoying with the random carpet bombing. But I hope you enjoyed the video as usual and I will catch you up on the next one. Take care everyone. Peace out.